How do you make rafter cuts with a speed square? Let's do a 412 pitch. Find the 4, mark it off. 4 inches up for every 12 inches across. For a 612 pitch, find the 6, mark it off, and there's your 612 pitch, which is a 26 and a half degree cut. I need to cut multiple rafter angles today. Here's a really helpful tip. There's your common rafter angles right here. They call these a framing jig or a stair guide. I'm just gonna put it on my square and tighten it down. Now I have locked in all the 612 pitches. I just mark it off. Now I can do multiple in just a few seconds. And each angle cut will be exactly the same. When we're cutting out a bird's mouth, we want to cut on the belly side. Use your pivot point and find the common. Today we're gonna cut at a 512 pitch. We'll find the five, we'll scribe, we'll flip the square over, and we'll find a perfect 90. We can measure down to either three and a half inches or four inches, depending on how wide or thick your wall is. Three and a half inches if you have no sheathing, and in this case we have sheathing, so we'll do four inches. Make sure you have at least two thirds minimum above your bird's mouth cutout for the strength of the board. Here's a clever little hack when you're trying to cut out a bird's mouth. The Swanson Square has a diamond on it. Line up the two points, top and bottom, with your pivot point on the bottom side of the rafter. Make your mark, and there's your bird's mouth cutout. You want to make sure at least two thirds of the board's original thickness is left after you cut out the bird's mouth. I've already measured out for my bird's mouth, which is a 612 pitch. I found that here on my speed square. All you have to do is take a framing square and just line it up with here. So if I'm gonna have a two foot eave, I'm gonna mark here at two feet. If I'm gonna do a one foot eave, I'm just gonna measure right here. I'll find my 612 pitch right here, and I'll mark it off. And that is how you find your rafter tail.